I know. Hi, I'm Michelle Donald. I'm co-chair of Love Abilities. And this is Martha, who has put it all together. Um, we are running the virtual festival from the 15th to the 19th of October. And I'd just like to ask Martha about, about her work, about how you got into this, Martha, about how you, um, how you got into the work, but how you came up with the idea of Love Abilities. Okay, so, so, so yes, so I'm a relationship counsellor, clinical sexologist in Singapore and uh, uh, sex is a, a juicy, interesting, uh, sensitive subject for a lot of people and I wanted to uh, get into the topic of uh, sex and sexuality because I always have seen uh, sex um, talked about in really negative ways in my culture and um, growing up I didn't have much sex education um, and uh, um, I was surrounded uh, by friends who either hated sex or didn't like sex or dreaded sex or had painful sex and I realized I was the exception. So I thought, you know, if my life purpose is to help people, wouldn't it be amazing if I can also help people when it came to their sexuality? So that's when I went and got all this training and uh, been running my practice for the last 11 years. And of all the different kinds of sexuality challenges that someone can have, uh, all the sexual dysfunctions, um, after having done it for you know like 11 years now, I really wanted to um, have the opportunity to work in the areas that were the most marginalized. So I'm very fortunate that uh, in the last three years especially, I have been able to work with people um, more, more closely than ever. Uh, around our sexuality and cancer challenges, sexuality and disabilities, whether it's intellectual and physical. And it's always a privilege to have a glimpse into somebody's life and to be able to hold their hand and support them uh, for a time. It really is an honor when people open up and share of their lives with you. And um, I, I am very grateful for, for my work. Uh, so yeah, so the Love Abilities uh, Festival came about because during this uh, pan uh, pandemic, I have been um, invited and was part of four virtual sexuality festivals, four. <laughs> and um, after the fourth one, I asked myself, um, look at all my colleagues doing all these amazing festivals. Uh, what about me? If I did a festival, what would it be? So I wanted to create an Asian sexuality festival. So I did Sugar and Spice in August this year. It was 15 days and um, we, uh, it was the first first of its kind and so after Sugar and Spice, I, I had the confidence to organize um, another festival so I thought, well, since I'm, uh, I, I know Michelle and uh, we've done all this work with Sex and the Spine, let's do one for disabilities and it was decided pretty uh, soon that uh, we, we wanted it to be as far as possible uh, cover um, different kinds of disabilities, not just people with spinal cord injuries. Although we have many presenters uh, talking about uh, spinal cord injuries and many presenters who have spinal cord injuries themselves. Um, however, uh, it was also a matter of uh, time and opportunity and who we knew that um, we created this uh, festival with all these amazing presenters. So we have presenters with disabilities, we have uh, presenters who are highly experienced uh, sexuality educators who specialize in disabilities. So I would say that um, my emphasis, uh, my preference was always people with disabilities first, but we also didn't just want anybody with disability. We also wanted somebody who was articulate uh, about um, talking about sexuality, who is open and uh, who has um, um, experience with uh, uh, educating people as well. So not just not just somebody with disability because um, I think the audience will want to learn from the presenters. So, so we have uh, uh, presenters with disabilities and presenters who are highly experienced as sexuality, sexuality educators. Uh, so as for myself, uh, because uh, some of the presenters had like a shorter, shorter time, time uh, slot, so so then I thought, okay, um, the festival has nine panels, has so many educational sessions, 
to have a few embodiment sessions, but I wanted to create something that was more fun. So I am going to be doing the laugh and cry uh, session. It's, it's just one half an hour. So we're going to do fake laugh and fake cry, and maybe it will turn into real laugh and real cry. <laughs> the whole point of it is that um, healthy people are able to express their emotions. And sometimes um, we go through all these emotions and we get stuck. So sometimes by faking it, it might be easier to kind of like allow ourselves room and space to heal and to express ourselves. So even though it sounds like a really silly little thing, it's highly profound. Um, and I, I believe the simple things uh, work. So that's my offering for the festival. Oh, that is so wonderful. And I'm really looking forward to that session. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, Martha. Thank um, you. Hopefully you will all join us between the 15th and the 19th of October um, to see Martha, to see myself, to see so many amazing presenters. Um, it is for free. Um, you can sign up and we will send you the links. So thank you.